Hello Taurus, this is your X reading for the 7th through the 13th. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome to the channel. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. Let's see what's going on for Taurus. Currently, Seven of Pentacles there, that is your card of waiting. You know, you, you've already invested enough time and energy into something you feel, and now you're just trying to wait and see, you know, you know what's to come of this, okay? Also, for some of you, I feel like you're waiting on someone. Like you have invested a lot of time into a situation, and it's like, you know, should I leave it? Should I just go on? Or should I try to revisit this maybe and, you know, make something um, better or out of this, okay? The person that you're dealing with is currently feeling um, heartbroken, disappointed, okay? Um, I feel like this person also wants to discuss something relating to um, some issues that you guys have had that have, you know, caused this, this um, situation between the two of you, okay? <clears throat> Let's see how you guys perceive your ex. I saw the Eight of Pentacles there. Um, I feel like some of you are really, you know, you're focused on your work, but at the same time, I think that you're wanting to, um, you know, build yourself up and um, possibly, you know, get involved in another relationship. What I'm getting for you guys, okay? So let's see how you perceive your ex here. Cars not want to come together. Maybe you feel like they don't want to come together. They don't want to get back together here. That they're happy out there on their own. Let's see. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. I think a lot of you are really trying not to focus on this connection. You're really trying to focus on yourself, your family, um, your work environment. Just just try to like invest your money, um, save your money, even doing things that you feel like are going to like secure your livelihood. Okay, trying to build build a legacy for yourself. And maybe that's what you feel like. You know, the person that you're dealing with that they're doing too. That they're just like, you know just working all the time just working 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 trying not to um lend their energy to thinking about you guys okay some of you feel like this person is already in a committed relationship too maybe maybe you feel like this person is married even for some of you okay let's see how they perceive you some of you want to have this ten of pentacles with this person you know, you feel like this could be a very committed, um, solid relationship for you guys. How does Taurus's ex perceive them? Taurus's ex, how do they perceive Taurus? <clears throat> how do Taurus's ex perceive Taurus here? Secretive. They perceive you as secretive. Okay, that you're not saying much, um, and that you may be heartbroken, but if you're heartbroken, they don't know it. Um, I, I feel like you know they think that you guys have someone else. Again, we see this um, with the Ten of Pentacles here. You feel like they may be already in a relationship, okay? And, and I'm getting from some of you that, um, hmm. Hmm. They think that you guys probably involve them in a third party relationship. So I'm feeling that you guys are kind of thinking this about each other. It's like, you know, and that's because you're not talking. So you guys don't know what's going on, actually. Now, some of you actually do know that this person has involved you in a third party relationship or is married or is already involved. Some of you know this, okay? But um, they don't know this. They just, they just feel this. They don't know what's going on here, okay? Then I have a Nine of Pentacles showing up for you guys. You guys are really focused on that coin right now, I feel. Let's see how you guys feel about getting back together. I don't think you're giving it much focus, honestly. I think you think about it, but then you know that thought is fleeting. That's what I'm getting here. 
you have good memories with this person um, and I and I definitely feel like a lot of you really do want to reconnect okay because you do look at this person as family you do that's just the bottom line for some of you you could say that you don't but for a lot of you you really see this person as a part of your family that um, you're familiar with them I feel like this this was a loving relationship you guys shared a lot okay this is your soulmate it just is okay these are not bad cards the only card here that's like you know a little challenging is a three of swords and I feel like this is like you know not something that happened recently I feel like this is something that happened before and it may have been a third-party relationship here okay but only if you know that only if you know that because this is also just being like hurt and disappointed maybe you guys you know have broken communication here as well you know so and then they have a ten of cups up in the air I feel like this person definitely um, your ex wants to be back as well okay and they're going through a lot of changes here with the death this person let's see <clears throat> how they feel about getting back together that that would be a hell yes that's what that is okay that's what that is but I think there's a little there's a level of confusion here on whether or not you guys are actually like dating you know seeing someone else um, if you still have the same feelings for them because again you guys are not talking here with this high priestess okay you're not even communicating so you don't know what's going on with each other let's see how you guys can help this and I saw the king of swords under the bottom of the deck and that's really by talking by talking things out you know maturely here having having open and honest communication um, you know allowing each other to speak your your different points of view what you feel and that sort of thing let's see yeah by speaking open and honestly you know not not very aggressively really not diving into really deep things um, you know just kind of easing into communication I think it's just starting with communication in general to be honest with you I don't know if you guys need to initiate um, I'm feeling like it is you guys that need to initiate the communication but um, I mean only you know how the situation has oh oh okay hmm. all right so what your ex can do I feel like is to wait on you this is the three of wands. This is waiting on your ships to come in. Waiting on those things that you feel like you deserve in your life, that you want in your life. So, you know, in that essence, I do feel like, you know, it's probably all on you, um, my Taurus friends. But this person really needs to see that, you know, you guys really do still have love for them. There's still love between the two of you. This is something that is divinely guided here between the two of you, okay? Strongly what I'm getting for you guys. Let's see <clears throat> what the outcome is for Taurus and their ex. What is the outcome for Taurus and their ex? Outcome for Taurus and their ex. Eight of Wands. Loving communication. Lots of communication. I feel like going back and forth. Maybe um, some of you guys need to travel to this person. Maybe you guys live far away. But I do see communication coming. Active, loving communication. Sending love messages even. Not necessarily that I love you. You know, flooding somebody with kisses. But like, you know, really just letting somebody know how you feel, okay? We have Sagittarius, Aries, um, Scorpio energies here. Virgo. Um, I think I said Aquarius. If I didn't, Aquarius, um, I feel Libra and um, Piscean energy, okay? So that's what I have for you guys. Maybe maybe Gemini as well. Yeah. All right, guys, so that's what I have for you, and um, I will be speaking with you soon.